to this slide here and we're going to take the laser pointer and sorry the arrow and we could just analyze around here each letter it doesn't matter where you start in the beginning here we have a unalome so we know that's a unalome which is of course the crown of the arahants and uh, I've already explained what this means this is a uh, normal human he walk wag he moves from side to side he wobbles and wavers in life but when he reaches stream entry so Dabanahood which is the first of the four stages which lead to the cessation of suffering and Nibbana which means the cessation of suffering then he goes in a straight line up yeah so that is the the meaning of the Unalom we see here yeah and I would then say that uh, we can look around look around uh, here we have Po here we have Ja here we have Na here we have Li here we have Mi here we have Ti here we have Sang How we ha here we have uh, Cha here we have Ga here we have Pa here we have Sa and so you wouldn't really know this if you didn't know the kata japakasa as you would see here is ja is pa is sa and ka you'd say oh ja pa ka sa ha, ja pa ka sa huh? ja pa ka sa so you read one two three four ja pa oh, sorry ja pa ka sa so we already have one with the unalom we would then assume that this would read like this it doesn't but it would be put ta mi sang which is wrong because this is a different kata that goes put ta sang mi put ta sang mi no? and here we have na here we have cha here we have li and here we have ti so it's not na li ti cha it is na cha li ti which is the kata hua jai prat pali or prat si pali and so that's how I would then have analyzed it that this contains uh, na cha li ti for mahalab and mahapokasab and kleoklad and putta sang mi for all kinds of auspicious blessings and ja pa ka sa which is the uh, uh, calling of the four elements and turning of the four elements which awakens the yantra and the unalom which is of course the invocation of the arahants mm. so that's a magic square yantra which is on the rear face of uh, entered when he made the three takrut which were put inside the locket maybe that's exactly what happened makes sense to me that's a good idea anyway and if he didn't then that is a very good vichar to m make each of these three four syllable kata na cha li ti and putta sang mi and japakasa each of those as squares on three different takrut and make a takrut samgasat out of it and then you could um, put inside a locket like this with a yantra like this on the back 
or you could make one more tikkut foil or cover it in powders and inscribe this tikkut on the outside many ways to do or you could put this on the back of a powder amulet and put three tikkut inside the base of the powder amulet made from these three four syllable mantras and this as the, the final seal and so that's a little bit about which I yan and how I analyze them and how I um, develop my own wicha and how I apply it to make my own personal wicha because every practitioner ends up developing their own personal versions of yant and wicha once you attain mastery. The Sajan Spencer for the Sakyan Foundation and uh, the Buddha Magic Project signing off. So I thought I would make a recording to show how when I began to study sacred yant how I would uh, analyze the yant and find out what is inside. So we'll change now the locket of Lung Pomum. Lung Pomum. Not Mum. Mum. Lung Pomum. Uh, Reverend Father Corner. Lung Pomum. Uh, and this was the front face, has a photo of Lung Pomum. Uh, and it is laid on top of three Takrut which is in three different metals known as the Krut Samgasat which means the Krut Three Kings with this yantra on the rear face and was made in the year 2510 BE and was handed out uh, to soldiers and policemen and devotees and it's quite a rare item to find so uh, this is the yantra Nachali Ti Jabhakasa Putta sang, uh, putta sang me, and then the unalom, which you can also take as ma'au. Hmm? And there you go. That's how I began to analyze yant by looking at each letter and remembering the kata invocations and the sutras I have learned. And if you've learned the sutras and the incantations and you know them, you will then see them hidden within and find out in which order pu ta ai na cha li ti not na li ti cha but you can you can go na cha li ti na and you can go na li ti cha li ti cha na you can say it all four ways four times and put a sang me, yeah, or you can go ta me sang pu. You can do different versions if you want to make uh, four and sixteen uh, amplified versions of ways of chanting, then you're making magic squares in the sonic realm in your chanting by chanting the same four syllables of each four syllable kata to uh, na cha li. Mm, and put a sangmi and japakasa mm, three four syllable mantras you can chant each of them you could make a magic square with each of those four three four syllable mantras so you could actually make three magic squares uh, each with these four letters which I can maybe show a different time and so make this whole yantra here as three different yantra and roll them up into three takrut and make them as samgasat so you could make one takrut with putta sangmi and you could make one takrut with uh, na cha li ti and you could make one takrut with japakasa which maybe is what Lumpomum did when he actually 